Mm, I started using Wix, to be honest, a long time ago since since Wix were flash, you know, like yeah. before the HTML5 revolution. Yeah. So at the beginning, it was more like playing around, you know, usually there is some misconception when you study software engineer that everyone does website, right? Mm -hmm. So you, if you have a friend or a family who has a small business, oh, David, you know about computers, right? Can you help me with the website? And I, I used to love web design it in any way, but I was at the beginning just for fun. Oh, uh, but I'm not going to spend too much of my time trying to put things with colors, with coding, right? So I was just yeah. Googling, I remember a long time ago, just found Wix as an option and that solved the problem. You know, if, if it's a easy thing to do for a friend or something, oh yeah, let's try to do it with Wix. <clears throat> and it was very user-friendly. And, and yeah, the beginning was just for fun. And then things escalated from there. Yeah, I think uh, uh, like most of us, we got engaged with Wix thanks to the user-friendly um, platform that you guys have for um, you know, the drag and drop concept that was yeah. kind of revolutionary for Wix. So that's yeah. why we stay with Wix. Wix was, I think, one of the pioneers on implementing these kind of solutions when it was flash. And then it, it was good that I was during that transition. I like how the company grew um, with the struggle of, you know, the flash going out of internet, then starting again with HTML5. So I was using Wix since the first day they launched the HTML, HTML5 editor. And so it has been a long journey, you know, so I like to, I've been with Wix, you know, since you guys started yeah. the process. So it was very interesting to see all that. Yeah, I think like many of us probably, I was having a full-time job, no problem, and doing things as a part-time or evening job, just, just for fun or some cash flow or something. But over the time, if things goes well, uh, you kind of, okay, I need more time. So I was kind of making similar amount of profit with my own small web design business than what I was getting paid as a full-time job, right? I used to work in the IT department of, of a bank back in mm -hmm. Colombia, which, I mean, it's fine. You know, I understand how, how everything works in the industry. But yeah, I was, I was feeling that, okay, I need to make the decision because if this business is going to grow, I need to invest more time. So I, I, can, I couldn't handle both. And yeah, it's just the, the decision of, okay, I have to quit my job to start my own business, right? I remember those times where you're, we're reaching that limit between time and money and you have to make the decision. So that's yeah. when I jumped when I was seeing some opportunities to, to become a freelancer on web design at the beginning. Yeah, long time ago. Uh, I had, well, we're talking about 10, 20, 12 years ago, right? So I'm trying to recap, you know, experiences yeah. from, from a long time ago. And yeah. I remember that that's actually part of what nowadays Velo helped us to do. As I remember, as I was starting the business, uh, it was okay when a restaurant just wanted like a good looking website. In terms of designing, we could cover everything. But I do remember that we had some big customers that they have no idea about Wix. Nobody at that time, they were looking for a web designer. So, you know, when they hire me, they would say, look, we need a web designer. I, I, ne I never had to mention uh, I'm using Wix or I'm using this thing, you know. Yeah. They, they, they just want the result, right, regardless of the, the platform. Yeah. They just want so, it looks good. Right? It looks good and it works and it solves the problem. Right? So at that time, I realized that my passion was about solving the problem. So yes, it looks good. Yes, Wix help us to make it look good and self-maintain the website, perfect. But as soon as the company was growing, or oh, my, my skills were growing, is that bigger companies came on board and I started feeling like uh, I cannot take some projects because it's not possible on Wix, right? I started feeling that, that I was gonna stay with small business only, restaurants, bar, or, you know, one one person company who needs a portfolio website mm -hmm. because I do remember the experience of one company quite big that they needed a system similar to an order online. I don't remember, but they, they needed to have, they have a specific inventory and they, they wanted to have someone to order online different from a workshop. I don't remember. It was very specific. 
So we had to implement that outside of Wix. And I remember the website was fine in Wix, but as soon as you log in into the system, we have to hire a buy in a different hosting and we kind of replicate the entire system outside of Wix to make that work. So I realized that at the end of the day, what I do like is to solve the problem, you know, help a company to, to have something that looks good and works well and solve some kind of issue. So I do remember that kind of experiences. And nowadays with Velo, I'm like, boom, finally yeah. we can do everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, at that time, remember, Wix also had a um, similar issue, no issue, but the lack of the Wix forms, remember, that mm -hmm. any complex form need to be built outside of Wix. Yeah. So once they talk about Wix Velo, Wix code at that time, the first thing that came through my mind is that we had a couple of customers that they had to pay Wix for the website, but any complex form, they had to pay a third party app to be able to have a form in the website because it wasn't possible on Wix initially. So the first project was about um, suggesting to migrate whatever they need. Thanks to Wix code, now is able to have everything under the same platform. So they, they didn't need to pay for multiple apps. Um, instead, they could have a, everything inside of the same um, website, right? So the, I remember that was the first thing, kind of migrating and exploring what uh, advanced things we could do with Wix code. If, if you do have an um, IT software background, um, it's easy to pick up the pace, right? So I, 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 at that time, you know, I was doing other jobs or working with different things. And so Wix was the web design. So it had, I had a long time without actually coding myself. Yeah. But um, thanks to Wix code, I was like, okay, let's, let's just get back to it. And it's quite friendly. It's quite easy to pick up. And I think the, the thing that we love more, and I probably will say that most of the developers here will agree on, is that Wix has a very clear documentation of the references and all the APIs. Everything is so clean, so easy, clear examples, videos, you know. It's, it's very, uh, that sometimes, and I know some cases that, People, they are not actually developers, so they, they don't have a background degree in software engineer to pick up the Wix Velo yeah. thing. Um, and there are a lot of them. So it's, it's, it's like, yeah, having the experience of my degree to know about coding, etc. it helps to pick up the pace very, very quick, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, I manage it. But mm, yeah, with the other experience that I've seen, definitely is so clean, so easy to, to pick up that if you have some basic skills on coding, you will get it. And it's quite useful. And I think we are all happy that every time we need to find a function, a function that we need to use, we go to the reference and we have examples, we have explanations, the piece of code that we need, everything is there. So it's, it's very nice. Probably all of us were using Wix data Everything yeah. that has to be with database integration, yeah, right? Um, but specifically for, let's say, the recent couple of months, we have been getting a lot of e-commerce customers. So we end up working with the back end of the Wix store um, a lot. So Wix store back end, um, Wix pay back end. I'm just having here a quick list. Um, users, so everything related to e-commerce involves the, you know, the users, the back end of the Wix stores, the payment, we had one day we had to customize a customer checkout. So we have to do a lot of things to make it. Anyway, but yeah, kind of around e-commerce and Wix stores. Yeah. API yeah. reference recently um, is the most used in our end. Yeah. Okay. When I say in our end is because eventually um, we became in a point where I need some help in terms of timing. So I've been training a couple of developers that, I mean, they're working with me. So, mm -hmm. you know, so, so Wix partner sometimes we are like freelancers, but I'm trying to become a, actually a small little Velo factory, you know, that mm -hmm. eventually people hire us and it's not a one single developer person. So I would like to have a small team that we are all Velo certified and we you know have all the skills. So we have, at the moment we are a group of, three developers, let's say, yeah. and two graphic designers. So yeah, um, but yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, 
I'm actually in that process. I mean, the team itself, we are a team of six, including me. So let's say three developers, two designer, one guy in marketing, and my brother, who pretty much is my right hand in everything. So he's helping me with many stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm in that stage of shaping that business model to make it work as a small developer factory. Mm -hmm. It takes some time. Wix Velo is getting out there. Every day is more popular. So we need the a lot of you know work coming in so we can make things work. But um, yeah, basically, as soon as you have very clear requirements for, from the customer, definitely having the experience of how Wix works and understanding the problem of the customer helped me to have the solution without before even coding. You know, my point yeah. is that, as you know, before I send to my this, uh, developer, look, this is the problem fix it. We actually have to think, okay, there are so many solutions to the same problem and you need to understand how Wix works, how Velo works. So let's think about the solution first and then it's about implementing it. So I, I like this stage now that I'm kind of focusing on solving the problems and then the implementation is something that, you know, we can split between the team. Look, this is the problem. This is the issue. We need these functionalities. This, these functions can apply with, with Velo. This is how we're going to solve it. So then it's about coding the, the problem. I have two, two examples, for example, for Wix store, one, one specific request that maybe I think apply for many other Wix uh, e-commerce companies. Mm -hmm. This was an e-commerce food distributor of fresh food. So the food usually have a short expiring date, right? So at, at, the, at the moment in the Wix store, there is no functionality that if, if you have over 500 products and they all have different expiring dates, it's not easy to filter by expiring dates. So you can decide what products will go into promotion, clearance, what needs to be out of stock already. So we develop a functionality that allow the admin of the shop every day log in and filter and be able to manipulate the stock and filter by expiring date quantities and have more control of the back end of the Wix store, for example. And at the moment, so far, I know that that's not possible with Wix store. Eventually, it would be possible. So that's something he was, was very happy with the result. We have working with them. And I mean, that, that one solved a problem that I know that many people will have the same issue, being able to filter by expiring day of the products when they are talking about food. Um, the other one, this one is, the one that I should say is not an integration. The other one is actual integration with, I'm based in New Zealand, by the way, we didn't talk mm. about this, but yeah I'm, yeah, I'm in New Zealand at the moment. So in New Zealand, shipping companies, there are a few and we have integrated with three of them already. So this means that for every week's order that you receive in your system, we can submit that order with the shipping information, customer information, everything to the shipping company in New Zealand. So they receive the order in their system and then go and pick up the, the, the product. So the integrations with local third-party software is something that is working with us. So we have integrated with a local payment gateway for Wix stores. We have integrated with the shipping company for Wix stores. So those are solutions that we are quite confident that is so niche, so New Zealand-based mm -hmm. that Wix will take a long time to actually do a native integration with them. So we're happy to offer that kind of solutions to the local community. So at the moment, we're focusing um, we, 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 in New Zealand, Wix users. We like to position ourselves on Google and promote ourselves like a Wix, Wix New Zealand partners. So we, we are out there on Google. Um, and yeah, it's easy to, to work with the local community in that case. Uh, that's actually a good question and a good idea. I think I need more yeah. local partnerships. To be honest, we were relying a lot on the Wix marketplace. So okay. that kept us busy during COVID and during last year. It was quite, um, because we, we filter that we receive only requests in New Zealand. So pretty much every, I don't know, I would say 80, 90% of the requests made in New Zealand came through us and we have you know good reputation out there, good reviews. So... We get we got a lot of uh, new customers and new requests through the Wix marketplace only, but yeah, at the moment, if we want to expand in the 
velo side of the business we do need to do more um, yeah, partnership and have more contacts with other local companies so we can advise look if you have a customer and he has a website which is his own weeks don't worry we can you know, we can cover any request Uh, now that I'm aware, I'm actually yeah. starting one. So, um, and I do want to reach out to more Wix in Zealand developers. I only know a few and we actually have mutual customers. We kind of, I mean, New Zealand is a small country, population of 5 million people. So, um, yeah, I, I would like to connect more and actually create a, a Facebook group a couple of months, I don't know, years ago now, before COVID. It's called just Wix New Zealand Community. So I'm trying to reach out with, to any weeks expert as well, based in New Zealand slash Australia, because you know Australia is the yeah. big brother <laughs> country, and and we do have a net a network and um a group a chat group, for example, with other weeks partners in Australia. So for now, I'm I'm here in New Zealand focusing on Velo, but anyone, for example, in Australia on this part of the planet who would like to work with this work um time zone mm -hmm. um, i'm here just in case but yeah i'm trying to reach out to, through this video and what we're doing as well yeah. Rob. welcome to any week's expert no matter the level you know happy to do partnerships we need to increase the network we need to be in touch um you know I, I like solving so, uh, solving problems so let's just work together and yeah um, so weeks when you see on facebook group is something that i'm trying to use to to connect and i'm offering we are offering a review of the Wix website of New Zealanders for free. So we're doing like an offer where if you have a Wix account, you're based in New Zealand, it's a, it doesn't matter what kind of business you have, you have a website running on Wix. We are offering like an hour review of your website. We can go in the back end, check the things. How are you performing on Google? What yeah. things can be done better? What new functionalities are on Wix? So it's a good hour that we invest and we send a small report. Look, this is all what we found. This is what you could do. So it's up to the Wix users to implement that uh, by themselves or they can just work with us and we can do it for them. So that's another strategy that we're trying to do to reach out more Wix users and Wix partners so we can connect. Yeah, it's, you, it's, you also, it's a very trending topic. Yeah. And many companies are using that concept to offer, oh yeah, I offer SEO and many customers that we have, they have no idea what SEO stands for, what, what it is, it's SEO. So we do have a lot of SEO related requests and it was also a good journey and challenge to, I think it still is, that misconception of, you know, Wix is not Google friendly, you know, mm -hmm. Wix is not, Wix is, there are a lot of, a lot of things that put Wix a little bit down, but, um, we do have very clear examples of Wix websites ranking number one with a specific key search. So we do like to show customers when they are maybe not confident of using Wix about because the SEO, because Google, you know, always tell them, look, it's all about the content of your website and the strategy and your marketing and the traffic that you drive to the website, the content, blah, blah, blah. Because at the end of the day, if you have good content on a website, with these specific keywords, right? Google is not gonna check. This has less content, but it's a different platform. It's gonna give them more ranking because the platform, right? So it's all about the content. Regardless of the platform, if you have a good structure and a good structure with the content, you're able to outrank any platform out there. And we do have a specific example with the specific keywords that the customer needed and they are number one out there. And you know, I like to show, look, search this on Google and you see, those are Wix websites ranking number one on Google. So it's not about the platform, it's about the content on your website and building the website properly. So uh, through that speech or through that concept, we do get a lot of um, SEO requests, but more, more about existing customers who has already Wix website and maybe they had no idea about how Google works. So mm -hmm. they implemented the Wix website years ago and they never get good ranking. But it's not because they, Wix is not working. It's because maybe they didn't understand these concepts. So I'm offering like a, an hour consultation on explaining how Google works with Wix websites. So when they hire me, we do similar like this one hour consultation with me online. And I check the back end of the website and I explain how Google works. What is your business concept? 
what, what kind of keywords you would like to get organically on Google. So we work around what content you should be updating and what are the tags and the metadata that needs to be improved, et cetera. So yeah, SEO is another big part of the, of the business. It's not necessarily Velo related or developer, but it's something that I'm passionate about, to be honest. Yeah. Um, no, no, nothing else to add. Maybe it's just encouraging anyone who is trying Wix for the first time, you know, new developers that because in, 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 when you are at the, at the uni, you know, you will learn the basic of JavaScript. You will learn um, the basic concepts of web design, which is good. And then once you jump out of school and you're going to go into the business world, there are so many platforms and so many solutions nowadays. Mm -hmm. So um, usually a developer or a designer will focus on a specific tool and you become expert on this and keep going. So nowadays, I would like to say confidently to any new developer coming into the industry that you can feel very confident to say, oh yeah, I'm a Velo expert, right? I'm a JavaScript developer or I'm this, 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 and also I'm Velo expert because Wix is becoming every day way more advanced or way more complex in, in terms of capabilities and functionalities for the industry that in a couple of years or months, I wouldn't be surprised that in you know anyone's CV or anyone LinkedIn profile, oh yeah, you are a Velo expert. That will give you you know a good reputation because there are hundreds and hundreds and millions of Wix websites out there. So yeah, eventually it becomes it will become every 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 time more popular and more uh, neat. So yeah, totally happy with the product. Been working with Wix since the beginning and uh, been growing as Wix grows. So mm -hmm. yeah, great. And and now I'm in a stage where we need more network. I don't mind, you know, partnership, training, whatever anyone else needs. Like to work with others, and I've been focusing so much in New Zealand only that with this opportunity that you guys are giving me to do this blog and talk uh, talk with the people, happy to do network and partner around the world. So it's very good. Yeah, that's really cool to hear. Um, and we're happy to, you know, talk with you and partner with you in this way. Um, and also I speak Spanish if someone is helping in Spanish, so we can <laughs> have a Spanish Velo session. Yeah, sure. That's got to be helpful. Um, yeah. But yeah, thank you for taking this time to talk with me. This is super informative and I learned a lot about what you do. Um, You're up. <laughs>